Hello Ratbags, it's Jade. Welcome to another Valheim news video. Every single Monday, the developers have been posting teases of what's to come in the Hearth and Home update. And guess what? It looks like we're going to get a release date very soon. I'm going to go over all the latest with the brand new devlog that's come up with shields and blocking. And we're going to talk about possible release dates and info later on this week. So do make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games content as always. And be prepared also in the future. You may be able to ask a few questions if I get a chance to sit down with one of the developers from Valheim. That's if I can get them on their day off to spare a couple of hours and play some games with me and doing something else as well. So I'm really excited about that. Other stuff as well, going to take a look at a brand new app you can use to help you craft items a little bit quicker and easier and how to cook actual proper food like a Viking. Let's go. Welcome to this Hearth and Home Spotlight, where we'll have a look at some further tweaks to the mechanics of the game, this time focusing on shields. In the coming update, tower shields will get a significant buff. Compared to the other shields in the game, they'll now have a lot more knockback. This makes this shield the best choice for you if you want to play defensively and have a higher chance of staying alive, especially against a large number of enemies at once. The tower shield is safe and slow, but with the new knockback tweaks, it's a good choice for a tank. The opposite of the tower shield is the buckler as it offers less in the way of blocking, but instead lets you parry incoming strikes. Meanwhile, the regular round shields will continue to be a balanced choice for the standard fighter. Come back next week for a look at some of the new food recipes. So yeah, I'm not going to milk your time. It's clearly explained really well by developers. I'm only reporting this just in case you aren't subscribed to them and to go over the rest of the stuff. And I'm hyped and excited about these updates that come in. I think anyone that's assumed it would only be one or two little things buffed or a few stat points increased as I do see some of that criticism, I think you're off your locks pie. It's going to be a bunch of stuff added to the game. They said in the past they want to cater to different types of players. They're going to have something for the builder. They're going to have something for the player that likes the combat and the fighting and the players that want to do a little bit more at home or maybe just explore a little bit so i do believe the hearth and home update is going to have a lot in it and much more than we think or i've given credit to they've definitely been keen to keep things secret as well i'm not over hyping it like i said keep your expectations in check i've been you know trying to stay on that line but i do think it's going to have a lot more than other people kind of imagine the Twitter account have also carried on saying that the round shields can absolutely still parry. They're the nice middle ground between the other two. Not as slow as the tower shield, but not as quick as the buckler either. And that's what I'm going to have wanted to do. Create classes based on your food, your weapons and your armor pieces, rather than you putting arbitrary skill points into something. What you use will determine what type of character you are. And I kind of like the reply they've given to a tiny bit of a critical tweet. Planet Girl, aptly named Joyful Spite, has said, Valheim team hired more marketers to promote the game. Hope they also hired more people to make updates like the Ocean Biome. Clearly someone that hasn't kept to date with anything that's been going on with Valheim, as the Ocean Biome has been like way down on the list of things anyway, even with the revamped roadmap. With Valheim chipped in, no more marketeers have been hired, but a programmer, an animator and a QA tester joined us a good few weeks ago. As I told you guys, that's nearly doubling the amount of devs they have on board. Like I said, they still have people as well that they got from their Discord to help out with community support as well. Although hopes may be dashed if you was hoping to get milk from a lox in the future. It's still a bit uncertain, but we're pretty sure the lox isn't a mammal. Oh no, I was kind of really hoping we'd get milk from them. Where are we going to get milk for recipes? Do we need it even in the future? Maybe it'll be the grey dwarfs we have to milk. Now I was going to do this today, but my time has run out. They're giving recipes on how you can make your own lox pie. Spoilers, it's actually using beef. But I thought this was pretty cool. So maybe you want to make your own lox pie. It looks pretty simple to make. Let me know if you're going to be making your own Valheim based cuisine in the future. And something else I pulled off from Twitter as well is the Valculator, the Valheim resource calculator. It'll give you a quick definitive list of everything you need if you want to craft a certain item, weapon or piece of armor. It will also give you a quick breakdown of exactly what it does too. And I thought this was a cool, neat little idea. If you play Valheim a lot, you've got a second screen, you go ahead and just check out something that you might want to think about making and you can see all the stuff process that you're going to have to go through. Valculator.io, give it a search, give it a try, let me know what you think about it. Completely fan made. And Valheim replied to someone asking whether we're going to get the release date soon and they've said yes. Now this week we've got Gamescom, we've got the Future Game Show and there's a bunch of other stuff happening at the end of the week as well. So could it be potentially being announced this week? I reckon so, it all kind of ties in. They said the update would be out by quarter three. The end of quarter three is the end of September. 
so it makes perfect sense to announce a release date and that maybe be a couple of weeks away. With one more devlog sure to come at least, possibly two, I think we're going to get the release date of Valheim Hearth and Home update around the 14th of September. Now I'm pulling that out of my arse of course, but judging by usually these kinds of things give you a little bit of heads up, a couple of weeks notice, and have said they're going to do one more devlog, I can see it really being sort of midway in September that we're going to get it. Has that been longer than I thought? Yes, absolutely. But now they've got even more developers on board, I think we really will start seeing development for this ramp up a little bit more. Maybe not as much as certain people might still hope to see, but certainly with more staff on board, they can hopefully flesh out the game in the way they want. And yeah, it should be pretty exciting. And that's pretty much it for this week. Like I said, hopefully I'll be doing something with one of the Valheim developers in the future, as long as I don't leak any more of his stuff. And yeah, we'll just have a gameplay chat. We're pretty much going to be playing Tribes of Midgard, hopefully, with some of the developers from that game. And just having a bit of fun, talking about Vikings, talking about game dev, and yes, maybe possibly some questions about Valheim. But don't expect too much info about Hearth and Home, not until it's released anyway. So if you like Valheim, you like Tribes of Midgard, look out for my community little post where I'm going to ask you guys for some questions and I'll see what I can do. I'll ch pick out the ones that I find interesting and I'll ask them directly while we're playing and hanging out a little while in the coming weeks. So that's it. Until next time, Rat Bags, with more info about this, hopefully as soon as we get it. First, as always, until next time.